Hi everyone. Today we're going to condense my business binder and the money that's sitting in here. If you're interested in that, stick around. It's time to release the word Kraken. Welcome or welcome back. I am Sarah. I am a Gen X librarian and indie author, and I have no idea what I'm doing with my money, but I'm figuring it out. And one of the ways I'm figuring it out has been to do envelope stuffing for both my personal life and my indie publishing business. And today there's a lot of cash sitting in here. Some of these are funded and need to have um, the money put into my high yield savings account to gather a little interest. So we're gonna swap the bills out. And yes, I have already done this video once. This was one of the two videos I recorded, but did not actually hit the record button for. So yeah, uh, there is precision over here. I'm gonna throw that away, cause that's done. There is precision over here about what I need to swap with because I've already done this one, so I just had to reverse and pull it all out. So these are the main things I'm saving money for for 2025's publishing year. I do have a strong sense of what will be written and published and the work that needs to go into it and how many words I'm going to have. So I'm putting money aside to be able to pay for that without stressing. At this point, while I do sell my books, I do not make enough money off of them to fund the next books. I'm trying to get there, but a lot of this comes from a blend of my income and my personal savings. Um, and if you watch my savings challenge videos, you know a lot of that money goes right into here. So we did that in another video this month. So let us condense this and see how much I can take to my high yield savings account. We'll start with romance because this one is fully funded and I have this lovely fully funded placeholder from baddies and budgets that I can just swap out. And now the 500 placeholder can go here and there's 20, 40, 60, 80, a hundred. So that's 600 in total that I have saved. And that is exactly how much I need for my romance editor. Fantasy is higher, that's 1500, but this is, I, w I don't like having cash in the house. I really would have prefer to have it in the bank uh, where it is both protected and gathering interest. So this already has a $500 placeholder and then it has six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Actually, let's hold this 50 off. 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So I'm gonna take this and put this to hold the money down because I already have a $1,000 placeholder. Here it is, 1,000. And then these are placeholder hundreds. They're gonna go back here. And then 50s. And then the 20s. Now, so that's the bill swap. Now I'm going to condense what is left and maybe swap out some more so that I have a little, a little less bulk. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yes, these are probably the same exact hundreds that I just pulled out. 50, 70, 80, 95. No, 50, 70, 80, 95, 100. So another 100. And I know this might not seem like it makes sense to people, but trust me, it makes sense to me. And very often that is all that I can guarantee is that something I do makes sense to me. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I'm going to take out one of the 50s in cash. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll keep the five, put the ones, take one of the tens. So 
I should have 1,265, 1,250, 65. And that is my editors. I'm a little less than 250 away from being fully funded for all my editors. Annual expenses. I don't think there's much here to swap out, but we can condense, I believe. I just have money saved for Canva. This is 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. So we will swap a 50. 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 70. Yes. So a 50 and a 20. I'm trying to remove singles from my envelopes. I don't really like dealing with them. They get really bulky really fast, but they're in here for reasons. So this still has 70 and now it's thin. -er. Rent is empty. Covers should have $150. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we will take, because this is now fully funded, but I only have one fully funded slip. So I'm going to use placeholder cash. We know this is placeholder cash, even though it doesn't have a sticker. It does says copy and I don't know where my stickers are to put another sticker on it. So it'll be fine. I'll live. But the 150 will sit here it's so that I know when I look at it, it is funded and I haven't messed up. All right, events doesn't need to be condensed. It has 27 or or it has been condensed. Yeah, it has 27. Stock is primarily just singles and a gift card, so that doesn't get condensed. And then everything back here is empty, except the section for change, which is for when I go to events. So let's see how much I'm taking to my high yield savings account. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, is it five? Uh, now I've, Forty, fifty, sixty, so four hundred. We're gonna speed this up because I have now lost track and I need a calculator. Yes, it was five. So we have five sixty. Now let's get into the fives and singles. 65, 75, 85, 95, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I'm taking $650 to the bank so that I have it all put aside. You can see, I love being able to touch money. I've enjoyed the process of envelope stuffing because this is much more fun than I thought it would be. And seeing the money I'm saving makes it feel a, more real, I'd say, um, that this is money and it is there. And I know that it's there instead of me 
wiping, swiping out the credit card and hoping that, um, that I will be able to pay it back. I know I'll be able to pay it back because the money's sitting there ready for me to use. So that's all for this video. Like it if you want to see me do more cash condensings or at least not stop doing cash condensings. Uh, subscribe. Wednesdays are Writing Wednesdays where I talk about my writing and indie publishing business. So subscribe so that I can see you in the next video.